And we've been doing some uh, reporting on this, ARUP administering antibody tests. And we're getting an idea of how important these tests really are, what they can be, and what they aren't. So via Zoom, we're here with Dr. Raphael First with the Tanner Clinic to talk about this. Hey, Dr. First, uh, really appreciate uh, you talking with us because there's, we've heard so much about antibody testing. Wh why is it important, first off? Well, the um, antibody test is part of your immune response uh, to the virus. Um, and if you've generated a, an immune response and it suggests that you've been exposed to the virus previously. So we can use that data and information to get an idea of the denominator, how many people have been infected in Utah and across the country, and also use it um, to identify people that might be immune uh, to the to the to future infections from the virus or reinfections from the virus. And, you know, I, I know that there have been a, a whole bunch of different tests uh, that have been uh, created. Some of them have not been very effective. I know ARUP is an incredibly credible uh, uh, lab, and so I'm sure that you're, you're uh, uh, doing a, a test that is, uh, that is helpful. But there have been sure. real concerns about false positives. So, so what, what can you tell us about that and what test you're doing? Sure. Um, so, yes, yeah, so you want to be careful what test you utilize to identify the, uh, in, and in this case, the immune response to the, the coronavirus. Um, I've been, uh, I've had a relationship with ARUP. I've been using that lab for my patients uh, for a number of years. They're, they're highly credible, high, highly reputable. Uh, and um, I know the people and the folks that work there. And um, I have no doubt that their test is top notch. And there's probably some other tests around the country that are equally top notch. And so you just want to be careful which, which test to use, but uh, provided you use one that's reliable and has some sort of internal and possibly external validation, that that data uh, should be accurate. Um, and I can tell you that I've already used this uh, test on a number of patients. And I feel pretty confident about the information that I've been getting from. And, uh, you know, I know a whole lot of people, uh, you, you know, myself included, wonder if at some point along the way, possibly they had this. I, I was very sick at the very beginning of March with uh, chills and fever. And now I'm seeing lists of new symptoms of chills and, and fever and sore throat and those sorts of things. So if someone like me is interested in knowing that, what, what do we do? So, if, for example, if you're in, we're in the state of Utah and you want to test from ARUP, then you would go to your doctor and they would simply order a lab test and you go to the lab and get it drawn. It's pretty quick turnaround time, too. Uh, I've been getting results on my patients in about one to two days. And is, um, is the antibody test, are they, they're doing that as well? I mean, it, so it's... Uh, that is what I'm talking about. I'm yeah. talking about the antibody test. I'm not talking about the, the nasal swab that's looking for the genetic material of the mm -hmm. virus in your, in your nose. Okay, and it's and you feel like it's reliable enough that the information you get back is because you don't want someone to, to get information back that says they had it and they feel like they're immune and only to find out that it was a false positive. Right, and I know that the WHO came out with a statement that's uh, that stated that you know they're not confident that people are immune, um, and it's it's not quite clear to me why they came out with that statement at this time. I'm pretty confident that if you've been infected recovered and generated a normal immune response to this virus that you should be protected mm -hmm. and we have no doubt we have no reason to be doubting this at this time the immune system the, the immune response to this virus has been fairly consistent with immune responses to other viruses we generate the igm which is the early antibody early on the igg which comes a little bit later and that's the antibody that people have been talking about in the press and in the media um, and at this point the the immune response has been in large part a normal immune response yeah there's All been right. nothing to date that um, can reasonably point to the contrary. Okay. Uh, and we do, have, we do have data from other infections as well with SARS and MERS that those types of immune responses have been, uh, have been generating protective immune responses. Yeah, so I, I'm pretty confident that, that, um, that if we generate these IgG response, at least in the short term, that we should be generating a sufficient immune response to protect us. That is, it's really helpful to hear from uh, somebody who, who knows some of the, the details of this. So, uh, Dr. First, really appreciate you taking the time to talk with us. Look forward to talking to you again as we learn more about the antibody testing and just what we're learning in sure. general about this virus. So, thanks for taking the time. Thanks, Max. Mm -hmm. Take care.